Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry this video is uploading hours later than what I originally planned on uploading it, but my granddaughter came by to give my hair a much needed trim. And then our friends Alex and Sandy came over. We were playing a game of Dreadpool Monopoly. Um, we've been playing a lot of board games the past, I want to say, few months. So, yeah. But anywho, I do have food pantry haul for you guys. And I'm going to take out of the refrigerator everything that needs to be refrigerated first to show you what I got. So, without any yakking, let's get into it. January's food pantry haul. One of these really cool items that we got that I never actually got from a food pantry before is a spreadable cheese, genuine Wisconsin. It's called Kakana and it is a cheese ball. I actually wanted to do a video this holiday season uh, making two different kind of cheese balls because my gram used to make them on occasion and I'm sorry that things just didn't go out the way I planned this holiday season but um, I may actually do them for Easter because my gram used to actually make them for Easter time as well so um, cheese balls are a lot of fun and you can make them up so many different ways so yeah this was something definitely really really cool we got some butterly fantastic home churned um soft butter actually uh yeah it's vegetable oil spread 45 percent so that's good for me with um Cholesterol issues, I guess you could say. All that happy stuff. And we also got Blue Harvest Add Off Lays. And these are actually really, really cool. Um, don't know if you could see them, but these are the Add Off Lays. And right there, that is like two meals right there for. Ronnie and I because um, we love our seafood so yeah let me put this stuff back in the fridge and we'll get into the rest of my food pantry haul alrighty so we got some red kidney beans bumblebee chunk light tuna southgate beef lasagna now I had this before and uh I actually tried this, I want to say, sometime in November, and this actually was not bad. Um, for something canned, you know, you might think like, mm, I don't know. It really was not bad. So, um, yeah, this actually, uh, this actually was pretty, pretty decent. Uh, we also have... Loretta Cheeseburger Pasta and Cheesy Sauce Thinner Mix. And this is just like a generic version of a hamburger helper. Um, these are actually really good. It's always good to have things like this on hand. These used to be my saving grace if I had to work a little overtime years ago and just wanted to get something quick on the stove for my kids. Um, things like this, tuna helper, chicken helper. They were a staple that I used to get back in the day. Um, so yeah, these, these kind of meals are always good to have on hand. We got some not bad dry milk, again, which is good to have. Um, I mean, cause let's be honest, you know, I know I don't always feel like walking down Dollar General to get milk. Ronnie doesn't always feel like walking down to get milk. Um, anymore, we try to buy Smart and we try to get two gallons of pop. So we don't have to go for like at least a week. But, um, you know, sometimes, like, even so, you still, you know, uh, 
you don't always feel like dragging a cart home with milk or carrying milk home. So, yeah, powdered milk, you know, those come in handy. So we got some Market Street chunk chicken breast, fully cooked and ready to serve. Now, I've had the Market Street beef stew. And if you get the Market Street beef stew through your food pantry, you probably know that beef stew is really, really good. I've had that several times and it has a really good taste to it. It is really good. It's like on the level of Denny Moore. I really would say that. So I'm thinking that this is probably really, really good. Um, and even though this is in the pouch and it's fully cooked and everything, I'm going to put this in the fridge because I really want to try um, a chicken salad with that. I have a feeling this is going to be really, really good too because this is a really good brand. Um, I've had no problems with, with this particular brand of items. Kraft macaroni and cheese. That was the staple when my kids were young too. They really, really liked the mac and cheese and the Velveeta and cheese. They really used to like that too. So mac and cheese, I just made hot dogs the other day. I opened up a can of pork and beans and made a box of mac and cheese and we up with dinner. <laughs> I was lazy. What could I say? You know? Now these are some kind of muffins. And I wish it said on the label kind of muffins. They actually are, but everything is covered up and I honestly cannot tell. Oh, butter rum. There's a little sticker over here. Butter rum. Ooh. Well, they're going in the fridge, and guess what? Butter rum sounds yummy. All right. Oh, and before I forget, uh, bathroom tissue always comes in handy, so that's going to go down in my pantry. And let me see here. What else do we got? We have two packs of Cheetos. These are the Lemon Hot. They're good. Some more dried fruit and nut mix. Um, I have sun-made raisin uh, cookbooks. I got two of them. Oh, excuse me, hiccup. Actually in my mail. Um, I may actually do one or two recipes from that soon. They have a tropical carrot cake. And I was thinking, ooh, that sounds really, really good. I like carrot cake. And this would be like a bit of a difference on it. And you can actually use the, some of the items that are in the fruit and nut mix. So, I may actually check out and see what all I need to do that tropical carrot cake. Because um, I may be doing that very, very soon. And from this bag... What else do we have here? We have Nestle Dollhouse, Artisan Collection, Single Origin, Chocolate from Ghana, Extra Dark Chips, Yummy, and um, Black Beans. Alrighty, on to the other bag. Alrighty, now we got some veggies. We got whole new potatoes. We got some more black beans. We got sweet corn. We got cut green beans. We have yams. Um, whole mandarin orange segments. I love them. They are just so darn good. And whole cranberry sauce. Have you seen me with my hand? Um, it's because uh, yesterday I used pliers to get the lid off of my E6000. And um, I guess from turning it, trying to twist the cap, um, I kind of sprained something in my wrist. It really wasn't bothering me early today, but as the day wore on, yeah, it is really bothering me. So after I get a shower tonight, 
I'm going to grease it and I'm going to have Ronnie put a nice bandage around my wrist for me. Um, depending on how I feel tomorrow, I may not do um, a video because I'm right-handed and it's going to be a little difficult doing a DIY or even a, uh, a cooking video and just not being able to use my right hand much so I don't know we will see um, but I may not do a video tomorrow just because this is really like bothering me now anywho so we have another bag of dry fruit and nut mix we have some stuffing cubes which is pretty good because I also got a box of gourmet stuffing I was thinking about getting Cornish hens when I get my stamps and Cornish hens are also good with that orange glaze that I make for like a duck um, you can use it on chicken but Cornish hens it comes really good too so let me know if you would like to see me do Cornish hens in the slow cooker because I figured out pretty much how to do them in the slow cooker since I was able to do that chicken with a few little tweaks um, I should be able to do the Cornish hens in probably an hour and a half they're small they're not heavy and both of them would fit nicely in my slow cooker I can show you guys how to make the glaze and um, how to do it so let me know um, I actually haven't made Cornish hens in several years but they popped in my head today and I was really thinking about getting some I know save a lot carries them two in a pack and um, if I'm able to get up to Wolf's Fair again I would definitely go to save a lot and I would um, grab them so or even if Walmart has them I would get them so um, let me know so we have some Jack and the Beanstalk potato flakes these actually have a very good flavor to them I, uh, I really like them Two more packs of the Soulful Project Cardio Blend. Um, flax, chia, quinoa bran, and oats. These are really, really good. And if you happen to have any fresh fruit to throw in with these, um, really good. Like some bananas or strawberries, um, even frozen fruit. These are just like so good on a cold morning. Definitely. So we got some bagels and that is actually cool because the last bag of bagels we got and this one has all different kinds in um, like we wiped them right out um, they were really really good to get some soft uh, cream cheese for them but definitely they're good to have um, something different we also have two, um, I think they're like hair claws. Shows them. And we have some bread. I'm thinking this looks like rye, possibly. Some type of dark loaf. Mmm, I think it is rye. And that's, that's actually cool because I, I always liked rye bread as a kid. I like the smell of it. And I always thought it made for like a really good sandwich when my gram would get like turkey or chicken breast and you know do everything like with the lettuce and tomato and all that she would really pack that sandwich up and they always tasted so much better on rye bread so yeah I have a thing about rye I guess like I like the smell of it <laughs> I'm weird what I say Little Bites, and these are pumpkin muffins. I have like two cans of pumpkin downstairs, and I was thinking, hmm, I might want to actually use them up and rotate them, so get them out of here. So I was thinking maybe about pumpkin pancakes down the road, or maybe pumpkin muffins. But I do kind of like want to use up some of my older stock in my food pantry and uh, start making things with some of that stuff 
and almost the next to last, well, next to last item. Hospitality Honey Nut Toasted Oats. As I've said before, these cereals are so close to name brand cereals. Honestly, if you're strapped for money, there's nothing wrong with these cereals. Um, I believe you can get these in Dollar, Dollar Tree. And I've had several different kinds of their cereals, and they're all good. And they don't taste any different than the name brand counterpart, like Honey Nut Cheerios, like whatever. Um, so, yeah. Money is tight. You know, consider giving a few of these uh, boxes of cereal a try in Dollar Tree. You won't be disappointed. And finally, I'm going to show you the very last thing I have. It, um, it's well worth the wait. Last but not least is a brownie platter trio. There is three different kinds of brownies here. There is fudge iced cream cheese and these ones here are sea salt and caramel. This was like amazing to get this was like oh wow um definitely you know a nice treat um so uh yeah guys this was my oh oh forgot about the snicker bars two snicker bars white chocolate never had snickers white chocolate hmm, okay now that is everything for January's food pantry haul. So, if you like this video, guys, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit my subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please take care and stay safe, and I will see you all on my next one. Good night.